Hi, this is Andrew from Hillbros Tech. If you have a hard drive that is not working and you have data on it and you have to get it off but it won't load up and you've kind of narrowed down that it's not a software problem uh, maybe by plugging it into a different machine um, and it's still not working there is a way to get data off of a broken hard drive. Now if the motor inside that turned the spindle, I'll show you this, this is inside of the hard drive. So if that is still functioning, it could be that this board, now you don't want to take it apart. This is the next step after you're, you've determined that it's not a software problem. So don't take this cover off. But this board on the back here oftentimes fails, it gets fried, uh, there's a lot of reasons why this can fail. So what you want to do is find the same hard drive by the same manufacturer. So these are Max Tour hard drives. I'll show you a, this is a Hitachi hard drive just to show you the difference. These boards don't match. So obviously you can't just take any hard drive. What you want to do is find the same hard drive manufacturer you want to find one with the same board. These, This is a 200 gig and this is 160 gig but they use the exact same board. You want to make sure that the firmware numbers are the same and they're usually identified on the board or on the front of the hard drive. Manufacturing date also helps. If you have something that's close, this is 21st of October 2003 and this is the 13th of November 2003 because they may change very slight uh, things on the hard drive uh, PCB board which is what this this is called this is a PCB board and so you take off the PCB board from the uh, from the broken hard drive and put on a new one you can find just the boards on eBay sometimes and there are exchange websites so if you have an older hard drive like this one here, 2003, um, you may be able to find somebody with uh, the board that they're exchanging. So, and obviously there's cost involved, but definitely eBay and all those secondhand sites. If it's a new hard drive that's still being sold, you can just buy the hard drive and swap it that way. If it's still in warranty, a lot of times it won't void the warranty if you switch the board. Usually the sticker, like for example here, there's a sticker right here covering up one of the screw holes. As you can see on this fried uh, Seagate hard drive that I have here, um, I had to puncture that. And so that's an indicator that the warranty is void by the manufacturer. But if you have something that's still being sold and you have your data on it, you don't want to send it and have it get lost in the mail. Um, this is an option for you. So hopefully that helps and gives you some ideas. But like I said, it's got to be the same model hard drive. The size of the hard drive doesn't necessarily matter. As long as the board matches and the firmware matches, then you should be in good shape. So let me know if you have any questions. And I hope that helps. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. And good luck. I really hope you can get your data.